Guys, I'm big about having a get home bag in my vehicle and it's something that every member of my family has. I talk about get home bags a lot because it's one of those things where you have the tools necessary if something goes wrong. And two, if you need to abandon your vehicle, you can put the bag on your back and you can walk home. But one thing that a lot of times we don't consider is our kids, especially our smaller children. What are the items that they should have on them in case there is some kind of emergency? And so we're gonna take a look at what you should put together for your kids' get home bag. I mean, a lot of kids do carry backpacks already. These are just some added items that you wanna put away just in case something happens. But if they're older, especially if they're driving, uh, they can have a few more items just in case. Now guys, most school kids are carrying some kind of bag. Now this obviously is a little bit more tactical. I mean, you can use any type bag, it doesn't really matter. You're not gonna really wanna put all your items in here and get them lost. Now you can put some of them in some of these side pockets if it has different pockets. But what I really recommend is having something like this, just a small little pouch that you can load things up in. And that way everything is contained in one bag and it'll keep the kids pretty much from getting into it and out of it. But I think it's very important to keep check of these bags to make sure the items are still there. And one of the first things that I recommend is having some kind of rain jacket, rain wear, and you can slip that down in the bag. I mean, guys, that is the one thing that you're gonna use probably more than any other item. Uh, you can also have a change of clothes in here if you want to go that direction. I mean, that is a good possibility if you want a few more things in there, maybe even a warm jacket during the winter. Uh, but definitely the rain jacket to me is the number one thing. Now we have all the items in here and we're just going to kind of go through this little pouch. Uh, one of the number one things to me and something that you could probably put on the outside of the bag is a whistle. Uh, this is a whistle that's going to draw attention. The child starts blowing it. People are going to look. And so this is something I feel that is probably one of the most important elements of this bag. Next one, I have some kind of food bar. Uh, you can choose a number of different things, but especially for kids, this is a big morale factor. Then we have a flashlight and any kind of flashlight, you know, gives them light. I mean, obviously this is something that's really important, especially if they're in the dark. And so this gives them a little bit of light. Now, one thing that's really important, and I've got them written down here, you can laminate this, but we have their home address and then we have the parents' numbers or emergency numbers. And so give them a number of things that they can call in case they can get some help and someone will be able to identify who they are. Also, we have just a little bit of cordage. We have a water filter, and this is just a filter straw. It's very simple. Just put it in here. You can drink water out of it. While this is something that not most situations are gonna require, it's great to have water. Now, one thing I do add is a small bandana, and uh, there's a number of reasons. You can, they can put this over their head, they can wipe off their body if they need to. Uh, they can put this over their face in case there's a lot of smoke and debris. I have a Sharpie. Also, we have some wet wipes, and these are gonna be great. I mean, you can use any kind of baby wipes, but to keep them clean, to wipe off spills, things like that. Now, down here in the back, we have the ever-present Heavy Meal Trash Bag. Uh, this is really important uh, for shelter. There's a lot of different uses for the Heavy Meal Trash Bag. I put them in every kit. Uh, one caution, though, is that if they're very young, they could get their head in this and they could smother. So use caution as far as this goes, but I think this is a really important part of survival. And we have a small little first aid kit. Now this is a little bit large. You can do something a little smaller. Really, you could just put some Band-Aids and some gauze but especially band-aids, they're typically gonna use that. There's a little bit of chapstick in this one. Uh, so there's a number of little things. This is a little bit larger, so again, it does take up more room, but so having some kind of medical supplies are gonna be really good. Then when it comes to your teens or middle school, I mean, having a small pocket knife, now obviously they can't carry this at school or the lighter for that matter, but uh, having some way to start some fire, a little bit of fire tender would go with this, but the knife would be great as well and they could keep that you know, in their vehicle or if they're just out playing, having these two items tucked away. And really guys, this whole kit would go from all the way from elementary school all the way up to high school, especially if they're in public school. Uh, and then, then again, you have these items that can go in case they're out and about doing something else. That's about it. I mean, other than the rain jacket and the change of clothes, I mean, you have everything you need for survival. So guys, it's not a lot of items, but this can definitely come in handy in case something goes south. Of course, the worst case scenario, you know, is, you know, abduct child abduction or human trafficking, those kind of things. And if they can get away, they've got items to be able to get them through. Now, one big thing is to talk to them about who they need to seek out. Uh, law enforcement, obviously, is the biggest one, but even store owners and things like that, people that are established in the area, 
first responders, medical, firemen. They need to be careful who they talk to, but they need to be able to know who they can talk to and go ahead and get somebody on the phone. They can use these numbers to call them, and, uh, or at least the address can get them home. So guys, again, a get home bag is essential for all of us. But for our children, uh, they need to have certain items in case there's an emergency. And so take the items that we've shown. You may want to adopt it to what you like to do. I mean, there may be some things in here that you want to change. Leave that down in the comments. If there's something that you see uh, that we need to include, please do. Because we all look at those comments and it's great to see what you guys have to say. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.